everyone, happy almost Valentine's Day. Today, I thought it would be fun to show you how to make a little Valentine collar for your pets in case you wanna do a photo shoot with them or make a Valentine gift for them. Um, this one is kind of fading already. <laughs> this is Rue, for those of you who don't know. He's our fourth French Bulldog in this family. Here we go. And he was the only guy that was not actually a rescue dog. We have had him since he was a pup. So you want to just measure as best as you can. And once you get a measurement like that and your pet is comfortable this way, they don't really like the sound of like, those loud tape measures, um, you can go and get a tape measure. And we already measured him earlier, so we know, whoa, he's 18 inches. Um, all around on his neck. Whoa, get down. There you go. <laughs> and then once you have your measurement out, you're going to lay that out on your table. And then you're going to get um, green taped wire. And I kind of fold down the edges. I'll show you why a little bit later why we do that. Uh, you're also going to need some spray roses. <laughs> why the dog trashes the studio. Um, you're going to need some greenery, which we have over here, which Amari got for me earlier. And you're gonna need your choice of ribbon to kind of finish the edges of this collar. And what else are we gonna need? We're gonna need wire cutters, which we have over here. And I know I have wire, oh, and wire, which blends in with everything. So um, yeah, just some straight pieces of wire. And yeah, we're gonna get started. So hope everyone enjoys this tutorial and we'll see you soon. Okay. Hey guys, the first thing we're gonna start with is the very end of your um, wire here. And all I did was I pre-cut a whole bunch of these little boxwood pieces, these teeny tiny little pieces. And I'm pulling the leaves off the bottom of them. And all I did was popped it on there with a little piece of tape as uh, when you're taping corsages and hair flower crowns and things like that, it's important when you're wrapping the tape to wrap and pull down, not just keep wrapping around because it can get kind of um, kind of thick. So um, yeah, I'm gonna wire spray roses next and um, I'll show you that. Step, we're gonna start working with the spray roses. I've pre-cut a little teeny piece of wire here and all I'm gonna do, oh, this petal is looking rough, so is this one. Um, okay. So I'm just going to feed this through the bottom part of the rose, just like that. I'm going to tear off the green on the bottom here because this is kind of useless so we don't really need it. Oops. Okay. And then we're going to just squeeze that almost like you would like a bobby pin or something. And then we're going to tape around it always looks super duper easy when I do it. Um, if this is your first time at home, it might be a little difficult. And again, just like the piece of boxwood that I showed you, I'm pulling as, um, I'm taping and I'm pulling down at the same time. So you get a nice skinny, tiny little stem like that. And then all I'm gonna do here is position my rose how I want it to be. And I'm gonna wrap that around it. And then I'm just gonna repeat the pattern like you would, you know, when you were a little kid at summer camp. <laughs> um, you just wanna repeat it like rose, boxwood, rose, boxwood, rose, um, boxwood. And then we're gonna have a beautiful little dog. Uh, I was gonna say a dog crown, a dog collar. <laughs> so um, stay tuned, we're gonna time lapse it and uh, I'll show you the finished product when we're done. Okay, so we're just, Continuing the process here, I'm just adding a little bit more boxwood underneath that rose. So as you can see, it's starting to bend a bit. Um, so it should fit really nicely uh, and be adjustable on your pet once it's time for their uh, photo shoot or if you're going out to dinner with your pet or whatever you got going on. Um, it should be adjustable and look really nice for them. Yeah, to be continued. We're just going to keep on doing this. It's the same process. You just keep repeating it and grab a spray rose. Um, cut down your wire to size. 
it's so funny when I do this by myself, I can do everything all willy nilly and it always comes out perfect. But while I'm trying to talk and explain how to do this, it is so much more complicated. <laughs> it's almost like I forget what, what I'm doing and how to make these things uh, because I have to explain it while I'm doing it. It's very bizarre. Um, so yeah, I'm just continuing here with my little spray rose. Same process as before. Start at the top, right underneath the flower. And we're gonna just drag the tape down as we twist it and get the little stem like that. You never want one of those like bulky stems. It's gonna make it a lot harder for you um, to adjust this. And then I'm just putting this around the base and the dog is continuing to eat tissue paper. That's the noise you're hearing in the background if that doesn't get edited out of this. Um, yeah, we don't have uh, Tasmanian devils here. We just have a loud dog. All right, stay tuned.